Today, I am reviewing the Elaine Hair and Body High Porosity Hair Care System. And I am really excited about this because I have high porosity hair and I like trying out hair care systems that are formulated specifically for high porosity hair. And Elaine Hair and Body has a winning combination. So I want to talk to you about these products and do a little bit of a demo for you with styling and deep conditioning. This is Naked Hair with no product in it. I have all already show you the back. I have already used the Elaine Hair and Body High Porosity Shampoo and it is a winner. It is African Black Soap based. It also has shea butter, coconut oil, and cocoa seed butter in it which makes it extremely moisturizing because African Black Soap can be stripping. So this is the product right here. Elaine Hair and Body is a female black owned hair company. She also has um, body products, of course, as well, like body butters. And she has a high porosity and a low porosity hair care line. So I chose the high porosity line because I have high porosity hair. And let me tell you about this shampoo. Like I said, it's really moisturizing due to the shea butter and the coconut oil and the cocoa butter that's in the product. It is African black soap based. So African black soap is the first ingredient. This is a clarifying shampoo. I needed to clarify my hair, so I went ahead and did that. Um, I'm going to show you the consistency of the product. It is really runny. So if you can see that, see how that runs out. Again, the dark color is from the African Black Soap, but it suds up extremely well. For a product that does not have any silicones or sulfates, you get really good lather. And when I combined this on wet hair, it was extremely slippery. And I think that the cocoa seed butter and the shea butter really helped to moisturize and to cause this shampoo to be very slippery, which was great. The owner says that the product will not strip your hair. If you are a strict like co-wash and you only shampoo occasionally, then this of course will feel stripping to you. But then again, I think clarifying shampoos are supposed to strip your hair because it's clarifying. What I did find about this is that once I used a regular rinse out conditioner to just um, detangle and add a little bit of moisture back into my hair. I mean, look at, look at my curls. My curls are popping really, you know, I still have frizz that is normal for high porosity hair, but I really like the way my hair looks. This is naked hair, no conditioner, no shampoo. I like the way that my hair looks. I like the way my hair feels. My curls are bouncing back. When I was applying this shampoo, I could immediately see my curls starting to just pop. So that's definitely another hallmark for a good clarifying shampoo for me, because once my hair is completely free of any oils or any buildup or any products, my curls are a lot more spiky. So definitely, I think this did a great job. Now it's time to deep condition my freshly cleansed hair. I will part my hair into four sections and spray each section with water to get it damp. Applying products to my hair when it's damp helps them to spread so much easier through my hair. So I will take the deep conditioner from the Elaine Hair and Body High Porosity line and apply a generous amount to each section all the way from the roots down to the ends. I'll focus a little bit of additional product on my ends because that's the oldest and driest part. And I know we always talk about the ends of our hair, but I also need to focus additional product on my edges because my edges need a lot of TLC. They get dry very easily as well. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on this section, spray it with water to get it damp. Then take the Elaine Hair and Body High Porosity Deep Conditioner, apply a generous amount all over that section from roots to ends, and I'm also going to part this section a little bit more and add additional deep conditioner just to make sure that all of my hair is getting the product. Don't be afraid to add as much deep conditioner as you need. Key ingredients in this deep conditioner are shea butter, cocoa seed butter, black castor oil and honey. These products are very moisturizing due to the ingredients in them. And by using these products repeatedly, I have been able to retain moisture so much better, which is why I like to use products that are specifically for my porosity type. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of an added benefit here with my DIY oil. Every time I deep condition, I add my DIY oil for these reasons. When I add it to my scalp and give myself a scalp massage, I'm promoting blood flow and increasing the chances of hair growth. I'm also giving myself a hot oil massage while I deep condition. And by adding it to the length of my hair, I'm lubricating my hair to prevent tangles while I deep condition. That's in it. I am totally in love with my results. My hair feels so soft and so moisturized. But most of all, look how juicy these curls are. And so recapping, I am using the Elaine Hair and Body High Porosity Hair Care System. These are the products with the pink labels. The blue labels are for low porosity, the pink labels are for high porosity. So I used the deep conditioner from the high porosity line. It is cocoa seed butter based. I love cocoa butter for my skin and now I can say I love cocoa butter for my hair. I have used these products before and I've gotten pretty good results and every time I use them it gets better. So I was sent the entire high porosity um, hair care line from Elaine Hair and Body by the owner for an honest product review so this is not sponsored. I was not paid for this this is just she sent me the products and she asked me to give an honest review but I honestly think that my hair is speaking for itself you guys have seen the process you saw me with naked hair after I used the African black soap clarifying shampoo and now you're seeing me with naked hair after I've used the deep conditioner again close-up of these curls I am in love with the way my hair looks and I wish you could just touch it so you'd know how it feels but just to give you another good idea this is the most porous part of my hair this part this middle part it doesn't have a very defined curl pattern as compared so look at the ends of this compared to the ends of this section so this is the most troublesome section i'm going to turn around and show it to you and right now, these products have this trouble section in my crown and middle extremely moisturized. Look at that. If you see that, if you follow me, then you've seen several other videos of my hair and you'll know that, that this middle section back here is the driest, most highly porous part of my hair. And this hair care system has really been treating this middle section with a lot of TLC. So, time to style. So as you can see, I've done most of my two strand twists already. I'm just gonna demonstrate how I do it on this section with the leave-in and the hair butter. So I like to make sure that my hair is damp so that my products can apply easily and also so that I can get as much moisture in my hair. So now I'm going in with the leave-in conditioner from Elaine Hair and Body. I'm going to apply it all over the section from the roots all the way to the ends. I'm going to focus on my edges and my ends because like I said before, that's the part of my high porosity hair that gets driest the fastest. The leave in is creamy, not as thick as the deep conditioner, but it's very creamy and very moisturizing. Key ingredients are shea butter, cocoa seed butter, and black castor oil. Then I take the, oh, I dropped that, okay. Then I take the hair butter from Elaine Hair and Body, which is really, really thick and very moisturizing. It goes on really creamy. It is an excellent sealant for high porosity hair. I definitely recommend it. It's one of my favorite products. Key ingredients are shea butter, almond oil, olive oil, and grapeseed oil. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of my DIY oil and apply it to the front section. This section was getting really dry very easily, so I wanted to make sure that I sealed in all of the moisture. Then I'm gonna separate my hair into smaller sections for my two strand twist. Two strand twists are very easy. You take a small section of hair, you split it into two equal parts, making sure they're equal in length and in size or diameter, and you begin to twist like a rope. I always finger coil the ends of my hair, that gives it a nice shape, and when it dries, it will stay put in the finger coil and the twist will not unravel. Any foamy white product that you see in my hair, don't worry, my high porosity hair soaks that right up. To avoid that, you can be a little less heavy handed with your products, 
but I don't have that problem because my hair is so highly porous that it needs all of the product it can get. In about an hour to an hour and a half, that product is gonna be completely dry in my hair. So I two strand twist and I finger coil my ends. And if I decide to take the two strand twists out, then the finger coils give me really nice spiral curls at the ends of my hair. My twists are all done. I really like the way my hair comes out when I use Elaine Hair and Body products because I get a lot of shine and a lot of moisture. My hair stayed moisturized in these twists for the entire week and then I redid them again for the second week, just adding a little bit of water to reactivate the products. Man, you guys, Elaine Hair and Body, if you have high porosity hair, I recommend this line and I recommend the butter. She also has a low porosity line her stuff is fire guys thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in my next one do not